Okay, so today I'm going to deal with uh, taking the seven different ways to get something to look dimensional. Uh, those seven different ways are path, cross contour, contour, overlap, surface normal, mesh, and lighting. Use those to create a quick sketch of a person and paint it. Uh, do a, a speed painting. So the first things first is to figure out what my character is doing. I'm going to go for a um, sitting slash reclining position. So that's where I want the lower body to be positioned and I need to figure out the path so I'll start with where's the path of the head and the path of the head somehow has to reach um, this area here where the lower body is positioned and same deal I have to figure out how am I going to get from here to let's say putting uh, a foot here I might put another foot here now I have to figure out where I'm going to put, maybe I'll just put the toe there and I'll aim the foot down. Okay, so I'm going to put my knee joint somewhere down here. So I have to find a path to take to get from one form to the next. Same deal, figure out, put down a shoulder joint, where to put the hand. So I find these things out before I connect them. And I'm going to leave the other shoulder joint hidden. I might have it sitting behind. But that's... There, all that is sitting on top of this platform. Okay, so now that I have the path worked out, or the flow, whatever you want to call it, um, I have to put in the cross contour. So right now there's no volume in any of this. There's dimension, but it doesn't have any thickness to it. So I'm going to put cross contour after I'm done with my flow. So overlap, this is, this is um, a distinction that I'm making right now. I'm making the distinction that this is this part of the leg is going back. And that means that this can come in front. So again, I make the distinction with the overlap right there and a cross contour to say which way things are pointing. So there, okay, so that's that. Um, upper body. I'm gonna. I'm using these these cross contours to divide up. You know where the pelvis or trunk of the body is. Um, I think the knee joint feels like it's about right there. So I'm gonna cross contour that. You notice how my cross contour is no longer circular? It's because you're looking at it from the side. I'm gonna put down another cross contour here, another cross contour, and then just connect as I see fit. I'm going to need another cross contour down there. So, in fact that looks a bit too long. So I'm going to have to readjust the sole of the foot. Just erase my mistake. I've only had to use the eraser once. So, how does that look? Still too long? Still too short? Looks about right. Okay. I'm gonna cross contour that some more. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stay in this stage until I'm absolutely certain that everything feels solid. But so far it's, it's working out. Now let's see, I need to work on my cross contour again. Cross contour at the wrist. Now I know where I'm, I simply have to go from one cross contour to the next. There's another cross contour, there's another one. So I'm simply bridging the cross contours. And next, let's see. I have to figure out the flow of the neck. 
I'm going to change the position of the uh, of everything altogether. So the neck, go up to the chin, finding the flow, finding the path. So now that we're looking at this head from the side, I need to put in contour, not to be confused with cross contour, in there to make it three-dimensional. Because even though you're seeing it from the side, it doesn't flatten out. Now I can figure out where's this hairline. So this is a curve on surface. And make sure that that is properly connected. My cross contour there. Okay. So I'm quite. I think I'm I'm satisfied with that. So so far, all I've used are path, cross contour, contour, overlap. I'm I, I you know I'll use these overlaps, and um, it also governs you know what I erase and what I leave alone. So that's fine. This up. Let's clean that up. Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't obsess over this. You know why? Because I'm going to be painting over it all anyways. But I would at least like. I would at least like it if I can if I can look over this, and have form that looks correct before I paint over it. It's the the, the thing I'm I'm saying is I'm not going to lavish detail on things. I'm not going to try and you know over overshade things too much. Okay, so I've got path, cross contour, contour, and overlap in this. Uh, there's a bit of mesh going on. Mesh is kind of a combination of uh, uh, cross contour and it's a combination of a cross contour con and contour. Um, and I guess uh, let's see, mesh is really what happens when cross contour and contour come together. So. Maybe I can afford to put in a little bit of lighting. So let's see, which way is the light coming from? Top, I like the idea of it coming this way. Um, and from behind. So that is the direction that my light is going. My, my light is coming from behind. So I want to deal with some hair. So in this case, I'm dealing with hair using path. Just using... No. Maybe I just want to... There. I want the hair to be straight down. Yeah, straight. Go for straight. Straight hair. Okay, so this is just using path for my hair. Just organizing the contour. And now to clothe this uh, this character, I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to go with uh, a, a two-layer style. So that means that she'll be wearing two layers of clothing. So for the one, well, the first layer, a simple dress that goes over everything and then over top of that um, maybe a small uh, a light jacket uh, hang on forgetting two major forms here there we go okay now that she has her two major forms I can apply the jacket I'm gonna be running out of time but I mean, hey, it's a 10 minute sketch. But this is all part of the process of getting into um, getting ready for the painting. This is just this is just the preparatory work. So jacket like so. Uh -huh. 